What is up, you guys? This is your boy Andy Matrix. I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, and Japanese culture. I am here at TimCast.com, and holy freaking smokes, I did not see this coming. I don't think anybody expected Elon Musk to be acquiring 9% of Twitter stakes. I mean, there's nobody busier. Nobody in the world is busier than Elon Musk, but he <laughs> he gave he gave himself more responsibilities. I, I I think this guy is just taking one for the team. So we we gotta we gotta give it to Elon, man. We gotta give it to Elon. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to hit the notification bell and like this video. I'm gonna journey to get 1,000 subscribers, and I very much appreciate your help. So thanks a lot, guys. Now, Elon Musk. The world's richest man is now the social media giant's largest shareholder. Here's th this. This is gonna. This is gonna trigger a lot of arguments because you guys already know. You guys already know that Twitter, along with Facebook and a whole bunch of others, and, and YouTube. Let's just say YouTube. They are. They have been censoring people from quote unquote um, misinformation. They have been censoring people and banning people because they don't like what you posted and i'm gonna be blunt here and say it is people of a certain of a certain belief people of a certain group uh people anybody that leans to the right anybody that leans to the right the political right they would they will get banned on twitter they will get censored on twitter they will get put on the facebook jail they will have their their videos taken down on youtube all kinds of crap just because you disagreed with what the owners believe right they don't like you but now now they have somebody who completely disagrees with them elon musk doesn't like censorship he doesn't believe in the same things that these that the that the people who run twitter believe in so their big their largest investor now he has a say in what happens in the company i mean recently recently I mean, Elon Musk, he was asked, he, this is one of his latest tweets. He says, looking forward to working with Parach and Twitter board to make a significant improvements to Twitter in, in the coming months, right? And he was asking people, where is it? He was asking people, hey, do you want an edit button? So right here, right here, he's, he's asking people what you want. This is, this is exactly what Twitter should be doing. You see, companies nowadays, they want to preach to you. They want to tell you how to live your life. They want to they wanna tell you what's, what's wrong or right, right? Company, you know, companies, they, it's kind of like they want to run your life, right? You, you, you know, they, they, they want to they tell you what you are allowed to say, not allowed to say, you know, and it, it, it's all over the place. You know, if you got photos of, of cute anime girls, nope, get out of here. Never, ever, 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 never, ever, ever do these companies do what Elon Musk is doing. Asking people a question. What do you want? You are the one using this platform. What do you want as the user? And 73% of people says, yeah, I would like an edit button. This is a great idea. He's, he's doing the right thing. He's doing the right thing for God's sakes. And look what he posted <laughs> bandai namco anyways um elon musk he's he's doing the right thing here he's doing the right thing here in like i can't wait to see look in th there was this one time there was one time where elon musk said hey guys do you think i should buy facebook and then delete it <laughs> He literally says this and i think i think he's going into twitter with this type of mindset like hey i can i can own you know a percentage of the company and have a say in what happens so he doesn't have the say he he, he cannot he doesn't have complete word or complete control but he has a say as to what happens in twitter and hopefully they listen to him but but the most important thing about this decision that elon musk made is that now this is going to this is going to cause conflict within the management of twitter because the people who run twitter they don't like people like elon musk they don't like the way he thinks they don't like his opinions they don't like 
in in j just just to be sure here just to be sure here elon is not a, exactly a person that leans to the political right he's kind of he's in the middle but still he he is for freedom of speech he is for freedom of speech right twitter the, the tw people that run twitter they don't like freedom of speech there's a this there's gonna be a disagreement in here right and honestly Honestly, I, I was kind of hoping, I was kind of hoping that Elon Musk would say, hey, I bought Twitter and now I'm going to just delete the shit, right? <laughs> and then everybody will go over to Getter or to, um, or to Gap, right? Or to Odyssey or whatever. I mean, Odyssey is a video platform, but you get the point. Like, I cannot wait to see what Elon Musk is going to push on Twitter because it is about time we get somebody, somebody else running the show. And I don't know exactly what's gonna. I mean, I, I guess I don't expect anything big because he only owns nine percent of the company now. I, I, I mean, I don't expect like huge, huge things, but the internal conflict within the company that this is going to create it, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna start conversations. It's gonna start huge conversations, and I cannot wait to see what they they're going to do that is it for this video guys thank you for watching uh, make sure to comment below tell me what you think about elon musk owning twitter and like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell for future notifications i'm gonna keep an eye on this so i suggest you subscribe to keep up and um thank you guys for watching this is your boy andy matrix godspeed